What's going on guys? Bruce here and welcome back to the channel. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my! Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we are headed to Emerald Coast Dragway. Yes, I didn't get an upload up yesterday. I am terribly sorry. We spent all day in class. A couple of people have been asking what classes I'm taking. So the class I took Monday and Tuesday were basically tuning classes, a hard way to learn how to use EFI Live tuning software better than what I already do. Uh, how to tune trucks, how to flash trucks, how to make my own tuning files, and also how to operate HP tuners on different platforms also. And of course, all the different updates that comes along with it. Plus, uh, the better and best options for your turbo injector size combinations for all of your makes and models come as Power Stroke and Duramax. So that was some really cool stuff. And we also learned that Ryan Milliken thinks it is a GTX 55 or die. So yeah, basically if you don't run a GTX 55, you don't know what you're doing, which he's right. So I ran a GTX 55 on my drag truck, uh, like the last two races, and that's where I went 580s with it, which is pretty freaking crazy, because it's a badass turbo, and sent a piece of my piston through it and it still didn't die, so yeah. Killer Turbo, that's what we're running on my drag truck this year. We will be running a GTX 55 88 millimeter charger. And the Australian truck we're building will be running a GTX 55 also 85 millimeter charger. <clears throat> so that's what we learned Monday and Tuesday. Pistons, blah, 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 things like that. Head flow, all kinds of cool stuff as far as engines go. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I went over to Suncoast to get some updates. They wanted us to start incorporating into the transmissions that we built for them. Well, I don't build for Suncoast, but in the past six months or so, I've started rebuilding my own transmissions instead of buying them from Suncoast just to speed up the process to get them done. And now that I've taught myself, and know what I'm doing, I can build them for myself and for customers and make a little bit more money. So you know, it all comes in with owning a business. Uh, so what they did on Wednesday and Thursday is kind of taught us a couple tips and tricks in the valve bodies whenever you're putting them together yourselves and how to set them up a little bit tighter to so you, they hold up better when racing applications and things like that. So that's what happened with class this week. Uh, last night we did leave class a little early and went over to the Suncoast Performance, uh, what the hell you call it, maybe uh, reception, there we go. They had a reception party last night at the Ramadan Inn and on the beach. I'm going to let y'all guys check out these clips right here, so hold tight. What are those? Flippy floppies. <laughs> what are those? Flippy floppies. God. That's a boy. You've known about this. Words of video. Wisdom with Blake Carter. Yeah, look, this guy drove from Canada. You're from uh, Canada, eh? I'm from Canada. I think it's Dan oh Wines God. Vineyard or Dan Wines. You have a vineyard? Wings. 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 Yeah, I do have a vineyard. And you didn't bring any wine? He, that's what? <laughs> we are very disappointed. How can you If it wasn't for your border, I would have brought wine. No, you got to do some bootlegger stuff. This you drove like, here? It's the American fly. Spirit. I flew. And there's oh. room in the suitcase. No, I didn't throw anything under the box. There is disappointment There's all over this man's right. face There's right no, here. We're upset. We're, we're trying to understand. And I'd like to thank the Academy for this opportunity. Yeah, I got pretty epic last night, <laughs> to say the least. I got a little tipsy, but we still had a killer time. So we're headed to Emerald Coast right now. Make sure you hold tight. We're going to be there. Check out all these badass drag racing trucks. Pro Street is doing first round qualifying tonight. So be ready to check that out. Here we go. Go drag racing. We got the weenies. So we have made it here. It is freezing ass cold. It's like 49 degrees here in Florida. I know that's crazy to some of you, but it's freezing to us. We're gonna walk right in here to uh, Diesel Life and see what they got going on here so far. There's some trucks in the staging lane, so we're gonna go check those out after we walk in here. In case no one's seen inside the diesel live train before. <laughs> Ashley, no. where are you going? Look at these space. killer license plates. Do y'all have these on the website? I think so, yeah. Mm, okay. 
for all the women in diesel life. Ashley, the owner of Diesel Life, doesn't like to be on camera, so she <laughs> ran outside. You guys might remember her from when she rode in the flatbed a few videos back. So, we're gonna kill it for here and talk, and then we'll be outside in the stage lanes in a second. 770 index is running right now. They're doing their qualifying rounds and after that we've got 670 and then 590 and then Pro Street and then Pro Mod. 670, right? Let's get it. Get that band. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, sounds good. The last pair. Get the brake problem fixed. Index class presented by Devil Zone. We roll into our school. Diesel 670 index. Same thing, just a whole second faster. These trucks will run 6.7. Second, here we go. We got Rodrigo right here in his sleeper mega cab. Okay. He might be handicapped. <laughs> He's handicapped up here, that's about it. Let's see what else everybody's going on. 87 miles an hour, and I'm going to tell you something, that's right, never give up. Let's just drive it. He got treed like a 6.7 liter man. power stroke right you. here. Three numbers on the tree. See what he can do. Last year while we were racing in 670 with me, he was facing uh, a lot of brake issues trying to get the converter to stop pushing through the brake. So we're going to see what he does now. Fighting a couple issues on getting these things to go straight, but they're gonna get them worked out before the night's up. We haven't fun yet. Yes. All right, here we go. Pearl Street category presented by Stainless Diesel. All right, guys, so Stainless Diesel has a live feed set up on their Facebook page. I know you won't see it right now, but tomorrow when the event does start, I'll post it to Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and you guys can go watch the live feed of the race I'm currently at. They've got a pillar where we got a pointed right at the starting line. They've got cameras down track. There's all kinds of cool stuff going on. So make sure you guys go check out the live speed. If you haven't, hit us up on Snapchat, follow us on Instagram, and look up my Facebook page, Bruce Wilson, to see all the cool stuff that's happening at the track and behind the scenes, other than what's being recorded on the camera right now. Thirty-six spinning half the way down the track. That's insane. If he can get the power to the ground, he can run a really, really fast truck. Emilio Blanco. In the BD diesel performance side of the racetrack.
So that's pretty much a wrap for today duck is here we're gonna be doing a lot of filming tomorrow on the track just to give you guys some coverage make sure you go over to stainless diesel's facebook page they will be doing a complete live feed all day tomorrow from like three different angles three, yeah, three different camera angles got, got that going on make sure you go over and add me on snapchat check us out on instagram and i did make a public figure page on facebook so go over like and follow that and you'll catch us tomorrow on my channel and on duck's channel Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, drop a comment down below, and we'll catch you later.